Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about, um, just get a little more detailed about grouping and union, the difference between grouping and union. And uh, to explain this, we're going to create this image that you see by um, Google searching images and putting them together. Okay, so let's go to Google. And in my first one, I put messy bun hairstyles clip art. Just, um, I put in a bunch of words that explains what I'm looking for and I scroll down till I see something that looks like it'd be a good trace. And again, this is for personal use only. So if we look on here, it tells me that the image is 600, 600. It's a black and white image. So that's going to be easy. And we're going to uh, right click it, copy image, and then go to Inkscape and paste it. Okay, let's do each thing one step at a time. So um, now we just need to trace this image to get it into an SVG format. So let's go to Path, Trace Bitmap. Let's go to make sure that we're on multiple scans. In the drop down box, it's colors selected, two scans, and make sure our remove background is checked. We're going to update it and press OK. So, I exit out of that. We can delete this image and bring that down. And we can double check, and we can see that it has nodes on it. So that's good. Now let's go get our sunglasses. And I um, scrolled down and found these sunglasses. Looked at this. Copy image. Go to Inkscape and then paste. Okay, so we pasted this in here and this is an image. So we need to trace it. Path, trace bitmap. Our settings are saved from the previous scan, so we're going to press OK, close it. We can tell that this is ours because it has the nodes around it. And then this is the image because there's the image down here it says at the bottom, so we can delete that one. Let's put that up there. And then we'll put the text in later. Now, you can tell, let's make this color black because it's a different color. All right, now I removed the side hair pieces and her eyelashes. Let's bring her up closer by pressing the three button. Okay, let's get some nodes up by pressing the nodes. And then we can delete the things we don't want. So I'm going to draw a square around all of them up here and press delete. Now, it gives you some weird looking things down here. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this little arm and we're going to pull it up and we're going to pull this one up. We're going to grab that and pull it up and pull this one up. Now you can pull it here and it'll have a sharp corner, but let's just give it some dimension. Now if you wanted to add another one and pull it down, you can. And I just added a node by double clicking where I wanted to add it. And then you can move that around. But I just want it to be like that. And then I'm going to bring my sunglasses in. And I'm going to downsize them. Well, make them bigger by holding the control shift and putting them right there. And then I'm going to grab my text tool and type hashtag mom life. And then I'm going to highlight it by double clicking it, go to my drop and find a text that would look good. And make sure to know that um, if it's skinny text like that it's not going to cut out a vinyl very well or 
press on your shirts very well. So we can just do impact for now and put it right here. Now I like, again, I like to make sure everything's centered. So let's highlight everything. And if your align and distribute ta uh, panel's not open, you can press Control Shift A, and it'll open it up here. And when everything's selected, we're going to center it on the vertical axis, and it will make that centered. Okay. Now, this is where we get into grouping. Now, when I look at this image, um, I'm going to think about it what colors am I going to change? Because when you group an image, you can always ungroup it and change the colors of each thing. Okay? Um, but when you union an image path union it's all one color there's no changing it there's no um, I want I want to make this final black and this final pink and this it's all one image so um, just remember that and if you accidentally union it just hit control Z and it will as many times as you want it'll take you back I'm going to do the same color which are going to be black so path union we'll make sure I have notes on everything and you can tell that this was not turned into a path so I'm going to take go up here to path object to path object ungroup and union because that's going to cut out as one solid text or word and I think I'll change it to a purple so I can always make my hashtag a different color and then my sunglasses and hair will stay one color so if I want it to be that green or gray or maroon I mean whatever color you want or you can just make them black oops black Okay. Now, I like to uh, make sure that I selected everything and group it together so it doesn't scatter when I put it into my uh, program. Um, I like to size it um, for sure. I'm going to say, I'm going to lock the proportion, make the height about 8 and it automatically makes the width about 4.3. So now let's save it. File, save as, and then we're just gonna say mom live as a plain SVG, and then save. 